Welcome to ProfessorSavings.com. We teach finance basics. Hi, I'm your host today, Ray Fawon. Today, we'll teach surprising things that lower your credit card score. So there are a few no-nos. And I'll say Professor Saving pays his payments on time like his mortgage and stuff. So he has some pretty good common sense. But recently, Professor Savings has been using the same credit card for the last 15 years. So he's getting a little itchy. He's been paying the balance in full. But he decided to go with a new airline mileage plus credit card. The problem and the mistake he did Guess what? He canceled the credit card he'd been using for the last 15 years, which had a positive credit score, which was deleted, damaging his credit. So Professor Savings, a few months later, gets a letter stating that he has been approved for a new silver credit card. So he's tempted again, this time with lower interest and a higher limit to spend compared to his Mileage Plus card. Now, to transfer the 2000 debt he has on his old Mileage card to the new one, that carries a lower interest. Now this sounds good, but the problem is this. The spending limit of $2,200, but his debt was 2000 And as a result, his score dropped again because the debt to limit ratio on his card is more than 50%, which triggered a warning sign to the credit bureau. Professor Savings discovered that the best thing is to keep a debt to limit ratio under 30%. Now, the best strategy is to actually spread his debt of $2,000 over a few cards. So, Professor Savings has gone to Europe for a business trip, forgetting to pay some of his monthly cable fee, and this is hurting his score as well. So, make sure you pay your bills on time and spread your debt over a few cards. Simple as that. Professor Savings signing out. Make sure you like. Subscribe and comment. Cheers.